doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, mate. The Carrick's won. You could win as many Champions Leagues and, and, and Premier League titles as you like. You'll be judged as a manager now. So it's a tough job. I think what I will say is part of what Antoine's playing there, we will try and isolate him 1v1 with the, uh, with the Middlesbrough left back. I think that's part of the plan and hopefully we can do that. And it's Middlesbrough that starts on the front foot here. It's Marcus Falls with the ball inside the box. Lovely cut back there to find Asaya Jones and an early chance as well. Viner clears. Bristol City scrambling and then it's driven over the crossbar. But my words, signs of a bit of early exposure there for that back three. Well, they've had a good result in the, uh, in the week, so they're going to be on the front foot. And as we want to be on the front foot, so we're just going to have to make sure we're solid and we defend properly to start with. And um, that was a good ball down the sides. And we've done well to get a couple of blocks in here. And this is, this is what we've got to do as a defensive unit and defenders. We have to get in the way of shots. Block it. Good, Matty James. And then there's a couple of bodies there trying to get in front. Results haven't been going Bristol City's way, but Max O'Leary has been commanding from set pieces. He's got work to do here, though. It's Riley McGree that comes forward and he forces a fine stop from O'Leary, makes himself big for a second time. Still coming here, Middlesbrough. And eventually, Matt, Matty James puts it behind for another corner, but two great stops. Brilliant from Max O'Leary. Zach's too far across the pitch. We've got a back three. Why Zach over? He should not be, up, be beyond the centre spot. But he's got dragged right across the pitch. Max, brave, good double save. We know that his positioning needs to be better. Here's Giles, as Hayden Hackney alongside him, the 20 year old. Picked up though by Alex Scott, who smells blood and looks to attack as quickly as possible. Here's Andy Vyman, the much more advanced position. Tommy Conway's in space. Early chance for Bristol City. Vyman! And against the run of play, Vyman is back on the score sheet. I'll tell you what, Tommy Conway has picked out a absolute peach of a pass. Because I'm thinking, go on, Tommy, put your foot through it. And he's seen Andy Vyman with a beauty. He's picked him out a treat. Brilliant play, brilliant counter-attack, fantastic goal. He's spearheading Bristol City this afternoon as captain, and he's got his fifth goal of the season. Watch this Tommy Conway pass. Now it's easy now, you've got eight goals. Can you hit it? Look at that. What a pass. Absolute cracker. Just chips it again into the Scottish and under 21 international. Here's Andy Vyman, the goal scorer, returns the pass. Bristol City building again, it's Naki Wells. Oh, wow. The connection wasn't quite there and it just trickles past the post, but Bristol City so close to doubling their lead. Tommy again, Tommy's got out in the channel here from a pringy pass. Dumps, bumps the, the centre half. Look at him, brilliant play. Gives it out, he gets it back. And then puts a great cross in with his left foot. I still think Zach's going too far over the pitch. You know, close is there, pringy's there, there's three. Come across and cover that space. Adjusting back to that role as right centre back rather than the centre half. The one that separated Tanner and Pring on Tuesday, and that's a loose Zach. pass, and they could be away here. Middlesbrough, golden opportunity. Marcus falls, and he forces another fine stop from Max O'Leary. Danger hasn't passed. Marcus falls again. Joe Williams bundled to the ground, and Bristol City will have the free kick. But my word, Bristol City living precariously. Johnny House at 34 years of age had an amazing career to this point with Leeds, Norwich, and now Middlesbrough. That's a neat pass. Zach Viner exposed again. Max O'Leary with a phenomenal stop. Stuck out an arm, tips it over the crossbar, but again it's Viner. I can't work this out. Why is that is a th that ball where it's rolled is where your right of the three at the back should be. I'm not sure why he's so narrow. Powerful head of that time, and it's set Bristol City up here. Conway's away, drives for goal. Had the call over his left shoulder from Wells. Still going though, Bristol City. It's pushed wide here, Conway. Oh, Chips brilliant. it in towards oh. Wells. Maybe just d jumps a touch too early there. Good clearance there from Max O'Leary under real pressure. Tim Closer. Sloppy pass into McGree. 
Jones on the run, just off the shoulder of Camperin, gets a ball in, and Marcus Falls was waiting. Side Jones again. McGree sees Alex Scott slides in. McGree still going. Another fantastic save from Max O'Leary. Screams at his defenders. Wants more from them. That all come from the Tim Close sloppy pass at the very beginning. And then they had two phases of play to attack. Scott has got to stay on his feet. Too easy. Great save. Giles swings it in again. Another header from Tim Closer. Psychologically, for all of Middlesbrough's possession, certainly in the last 10 minutes, Bristol City can hold on here. It'll be really important. Marcus Falls off the post this time. A crucial touch. Tim Closer celebrating that block there, but Bristol City... We've got to try and get more pressure on the ball, though. They're getting into dangerous areas. Too, too easy, look. So much exposure again out on that right-hand side as McGree fires it into the box, and there is the equaliser. That's exactly what you've been talking about, Brian. It's Akpom that wheels away in celebration. It was coming based on the end of the first half. So disappointing for Bristol City. Oh, nice. Lovely pass through to Naki Wells. Yes. Is there a penalty there? Referee says no. Wells can't believe it. Even now he's taken a knock to the head. Here's Matty James. Spots the run of Zach Viner, who's got into a more advanced position. Pass. Lovely pass into Tommy Conway. Semenyo's there. Dale Fry with a big challenge. Bristol City starting to exploit Middlesbrough. Great movement from Tommy Conway again. Great pass from Zach. Asai Jones checks back inside, oh, spots the run of Akpom. He can find the run. target. Another fine stop. Marcus Fors tries his luck. And Max O'Leary just what isn't safe. having the protection that he requires. He's having to do it all himself to keep the ball out of the net. The Riverside fans. Well, they'll know they're witnessing a bit of a goalkeeping masterclass, but they'll... Here comes that pressure again from Williams this time. Shot from range, it's McGree. Another yeah. fine stop. No doubt that was swirling around in the wind. Max O'Leary has been Bristol City's saviour today. <laughs> 